H2K Infosys provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys supports 100% job-oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time pay, lifetime access to live classes and videos. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For free demo class, visit h2kinfosys.com. All the participants, you are welcome to the session. So this is another session of quality center that we are conducting. To give you a quick recap of what we did in the previous classes, so our first session was on the introduction on this quality center. And then in the second session, I showed you how to open the quality center. So this is the third session of the quality center wherein we will discuss how to create the new set of requirements in the quality center like we did in the RTM in the Excel sheet. And before I proceed further, a couple of instructions to all the participants. First of all, the project that we will be considering here, it is Verizon Wireless Telecom project wherein we will consider the stored locator. So first of all, I will demonstrate all the steps here on my computer. And while I'm demonstrating the steps, you'll have to watch my screen and then understand the steps. You should not try out any steps on your computer. You should not make any notes. You should not write anything on the chat box. You should simply watch my screen and then understand it. And after that, I'll give you some time to make your notes to practice the quality center on your computer and then you can ask your questions or you can share your uh, issues with me. In case it is a usage related issue, we will resolve it here in the session and if it is installation related issue, you'll have to contact the technical support team. Even in the real time, if it is any installation related issue, you'll be contacting the technical support team. And participants, even in the previous classes, I have mentioned to you. Now, since this is a tool, all of you should get familiar with this tool. So it will take some time for you. Initially, few classes, we will be slow. But after that, we will go faster. And another thing is, I may not be able to answer all your questions regarding this topic in the same session. So what you have to do is maintain a notebook or notepad, make note of all your questions that you have and while we are discussing on the questions, you can ask those questions one by one and if you are unable to ask it in the same session, you can ask it in the next session or if required, we will have also an extra session just to answer your questions. Okay, so this is how our sessions are going to work for the quality center. Now, there are different modules of the quality center that we had discussed. Can you name those modules participants? Um, well, if you didn't get the support from the tech support as of now, please um, consider talking to them tomorrow. Yes, can you tell me participants, what are the different modules of quality center? In the quality center, we have the requirements, then the test plan, test lab and then the defects module. So these are the four different modules of the quality center. And then we have the different steps here that are to be followed. So can you tell me what is the first step? What is the first step that we need to start with here? It is to create the list of requirements to be tested. Same like what we did in the requirement traceability matrix in the Excel sheet, we need to do it here in the requirements module. And can you tell me what is the test basis for this? The test basis for writing the list of requirements to be tested is the functional specification document that we get from the business analyst, right? So even during 
the manual testing classes when we created the RTM in the Excel sheet, we had referred to this specification document to prepare the RTM. Same thing is applicable here also. Now all the participants, please watch my screen. I will show you how to create the requirements here. So first of all, we open the QC Explorer, go to the start, right click and then run it as an administrator and then you should be able to open this kind of window. From the drop down, select the URL. So this is the quality center server of the H2K Infosys that we are connecting. And then I think all the participants, you are given the user ID and password. So we enter the user ID and password to login. I click on the authenticate button and it will show me the default domain and project to which I am assigned and then I click on the login button to log into the quality center. So this is how the screen looks like after we have logged into this quality center. We have the different modules here management, requirements, business components, test plan. So we start with the requirements module here. Click on the requirements and here we create the set of requirements. All right. So here we will create the requirements. Same like what we did in the RTM Excel sheet. And what is the test basis or the reference document here? The test basis is the functional specification document. So using this document, we will create the requirements. Now, since this is H2K server, you can find that there are so many files that are available over here because it is being used by many of the H2K Infosys participants. So what you can do is if you want, you can just apply the filter here. Click on the filter button. Click here in the author. Use these three dots and select your username from the list so that only the requirements that you are creating would be visible to you to avoid the confusion. So here I will select Priya H2K. This is my user ID. I'll select this one and I will order it by author name. Okay. So as of now, I have not created anything. That's why you can see that everything is blank for me. Okay, everything is blank. So first of all, participants, let's create a folder because this is a H2K Infosys server, right? You can see many of the folders over here. And that's why we'll create a folder with our name. To create a new folder, do you see? There's a new folder button here. Now, Quality Center, though it is comparatively complex than the other tools, but still, it's a very, very user-friendly tool. If you just place your mouse pointer over these different buttons, you can find the purpose here. Do you see? This is a new folder. First of all, we create a new folder here. I will create a folder with my name. I will name it as Priya H2K. And whatever I create the files, they will be under my folder name that is Priya H2K. Then I click on the OK button. So a new folder would be created with my name. Now I can just filter it so that I can find uh, my folder that I just now created. So do you see this is a folder that I have created just now. All right. Now under this folder, I can create any number of project files that I want. So we'll work on the Verizon Wireless. For the Verizon Wireless new project, I'm creating a new folder here. And I will name it as Verizon Wireless. And then click on the OK button. New project folder. And then under this, we'll start creating the requirements like we did in the RTM Excel sheet. So first of all, we'll create a new requirement by clicking on the second button here, which says new requirement. The type of requirement, it is functional because we are doing the functional testing here. Name of the requirement, it is store locator. Name of the requirement is store locator. Then click on the OK button and fill out all the details. Priority is chosen based on the release date. 
author is Priya Ashtuke because I have logged in as Priya Ashtuke. Date of modification is blank. It is not yet reviewed. Target cycle and target release will be given to you by the test lead in the real time and then you can fill out the details. Product, it should be Verizon Wireless. But as of now, since we are using the demo version, I'll just go with the available option here. Direct cover status, it is no run because we have not yet done any kind of execution. This is a functional requirement type. Reviewer is blank because nobody has reviewed this document still. So we leave it as blank. Whoever will review it will update their name and also the status. And from where do we get the description? We get the description here from the specification document like we did in the Excel sheet. So I copy the description and paste it here. Search is based on zip code and choose date list box. Then I click on the submit button. So do you see here? The store locator requirement has got created under the Verizon wireless. Now select the main requirement store locator. Then the similar template is open and again fill out the details. So what is the next one? It is zip code invalid. So we write here zip code invalid. Type of requirement is functional. Priority is chosen based on the release date. Author is taken by default the username that I've logged in. Date of modification is blank. It's not yet reviewed. Target cycle, target release you get from the test lead as of now leave it blank. Product I will just choose it randomly. But in the real time you have to choose the name of the software. Direct cover status it is no run. Type of requirement it is functional. Reviewer is blank and then write the description again from the document here. From the functional specification document. I'll just mention the different fields here and I will repeat the steps participants. All of you please watch my screen carefully. So what are the steps we followed? First of all we open the quality center. Then we go to the requirements module here. Make sure that the main requirement folder is selected. Only then you will find this new folder button active. Okay. Only then you will find the new folder button active. So first of all create a new folder. If you are using the quality center 10.0. As of now I am doing the demonstration on this 10.0. So first of all create a new folder with your name. For example I created a folder with my name Priya H2K. And then under this I created another folder called as Verizon Wireless. So two folders I created by clicking on this new folder button. And then we start creating the new requirements. Click on the new requirement button and create a store locator requirement. So every time you want to create a new requirement click on this new requirement button. So first we create the store locator and then under the store locator we create zip code invalid then we create the zip code valid or choose state like it is mentioned in the specification document and then both of them blank. And also you can mention regarding the input fields here so all of them should come under the store locator. So this is how we create the new requirements. And once you click on the new requirement button this kind of template opens. So this is a name of the requirement, the title of the requirement that you want to create. This is a type of requirement and it is functional requirement because we are testing the functionality here. Priority, it is based on the release date. based on the release date. Then author, it's a name of the QA who is creating the requirement. This is date of modification and then this is not yet reviewed. 
target cycle and then the target release both of them you get from the test lead in the real time projects then we have the name of the product here so this is a name of the software that we are testing currently direct cover status this is the status of the requirement whether it is executed not executed pass fail this is a status of the requirement and then this is type of requirement that we are currently testing and then this is the name of the qa who reviews the who reviews the document i mean this particular document so this is the name of the reviewer and then this description you get from the specification document which is created by the business analyst so participants you see this is similar to the rtm that we have created using the excel sheet and after entering all these details you will have to click on the submit button to save it on the server these are the steps participants all of you please take a screenshot of this don't do it on your computer just take a screenshot of all this or make a note of this one and i will show you the further steps yes deepa both of them are new folder first create the folder called as priya h2k under that you create another folder called as verizon wireless i will wait for a minute all of you please make a note of this one radhika for the version 9 i will explain to you and runal if you don't have the user id and password please contact h2k rinku i will show you some more examples please make note of content on my screen arti you have to refer to the specification document ruby whatever user id and password you have got from h2k infosys use the same thing for 10.2 If it is nine point two, you have to use Alex underscore QC. Please don't do it on your computers. As of now, please make note of content on my screen. Gurpreet, we have already discussed why the quality center is being used and all that. Please refer to your class notes. See participants, if you are using ten point zero, and if you didn't get the username and password from H two K. please contact them tomorrow morning ya yeah, shamni you can check but don't modify anything deepa why we are writing like this please refer to your manual testing rtm document we had done the same thing during the rtm document and this target cycle and target release okay so participants do you remember when we discussed the manual testing i had mentioned to you that the testing has to be done in the different levels you can't do the entire testing at once right testing would be done in the different levels and then we would be releasing the different features in the different versions of the software so here target cycle and target release means in which version of the software we are releasing this particular set of requirements or in which cycle or in which test level we are doing these testing it will be mentioned here in the target release and the cycle 